This hissing sound comes from condensed water in the cylinders, which may take a minute or two to be discharged. The road which we have just passed leads through a beautiful hilly area which is well worth a visit. The fireman is responsible for checking that the steam pressure is maintained. The signal is at stop, but when the station master has lowered the level crossing bars, we are able to enter St. Olaf station, which is our destination. The unique nature of Brosarp's backer was formed when the ice melted thousands of years ago. Today, it houses a toy museum, A wedding train in mid-June is a good example of this. Skonska Jern Barna Kapellet Orchestra played popular music true to the period. The long goods train from Gothenburg arrived at St. Olaf on time. Extensive work is required to keep the entire railway structure in working order. The operator has a special machine for replacing the sleepers. Small branches and twigs were piled up for burning. The sleepers are placed in the correct position. The new rails are placed on the sleepers and joined. Engines, wagons and carriages also need maintenance. And vehicles can now be under cover while maintenance work is carried out. Skonska Jernwege gives extensive training to the different categories of staff. The courses include both theory and practice. The construction of a railway between the town of Ystad on the south coast and Brösap began in 1899. The original bridge across the river Verke Oon was replaced in 1959. You can find information about Skonska Jernwege on the internet. The homepage address pops up here and there in this film and is also on the DVD cover.